And now, Mayor Hirsch, if you will, we had residents write in for LiveWeston.com, and we have questions here that they wanted us to ask you. So the first question is, please ask Mayor if he would consider inviting Representative Rubio to Weston for a town hall meeting regarding taxes. Well, I would love to have Speaker Rubio come to Weston for a town hall meeting. I don't think he's going to want to do that um, because I don't think his message is going to sell very well in Weston. Speaker Rubio has, uh, in my opinion, been totally irresponsible on this. I think he's on the right path that we need reform. But what he's been doing is just throwing out numbers without asking the consequences. Mm -hmm. And it's like, let's make a deal, but with no consequences. Let's see how much we can cut taxes. Uh, I, you know, my response to him is, why don't we just cut out all taxes? You know, since we're not concerned to what the consequences are, let's just cut out all taxes. And let's start at the state, which if you noticed by all of his proposals, it doesn't talk about saving any money from the state, nor does it provide any money from the state to come back to the cities. Uh, to provide for services which are most needed. When you look at what the responsibilities of government is, local government has the biggest impact on people's lives. We in Weston have a lifestyle that we want to choose uh, to continue because that's what's providing us this lifestyle and tremendous property value in increases. Um, I don't think our residents would be too happy if we had to cut police services or EMS services. I don't think they'd be happy to cut out additional security. I don't think they'd be happy if we had to not mow the grass as frequently or keep it landscaped as well as this. They certainly wouldn't be happy if we had to make cuts in recreation. We have one of the best recreational programs. Our parks are second to none. I don't think our residents are going to be too happy if we have to cut that. Speaker Rubio's proposal calls for as much as 30% decrease in uh, property taxes. Um, which could mean over $8 million to the City of West, and that's some pretty harsh cuts. Mm -hmm. And really what it does is it penalizes most the cities that have been responsible with their finances. We've never raised the ad valorem tax rate in, Brow in City of Weston since we incorporated. We have the lowest in Broward County, we always have. And we're going to get penalized more for being that financially responsible. Cities, granted there are some cities that, you know, we're at 1.5235 mills. There are some cities up over six mills, you know, five, six times what we are. And granted, some of them may have some bloat and irresponsibility and some, some things that need to be cut. But the proposal doesn't at all um, uh, deal with those factors and look at the, the implications of each city. So um, I wish Speaker Rubio would come. Uh, I wish he would pay attention to what the implications are. Quite frankly, I wish he would have asked any of us what the implications are. If I were at the state level of government proposing such wide reform, I'd want to ask various elected officials around the, the, the county and the state and say, what will this mean to you? We've looked at your budget and here's where we think you can cut. Well, nobody's asked us for our budget, you know. So I, I think that uh, I'd love to see him here. I could go on for hours about this. I think there are some ideas that we can do to uh, give property tax reform to the residents of Broward County. I think it starts with uh, education. Education is a state mandated responsibility, but yet the, your, over 30% of your tax bill is for education. Public education be, should be fully funded by the state of Florida. It should be funded um, at a higher level. We shouldn't be the last in teacher salaries or anywhere near it. Uh, we can do that by expanding casino gambling in Florida and giving local communities the option to do that. Uh, we've seen what slots have done. But if you, if you took that portion off the tax bill, you'd see immediate 30% reduction across the state of Florida. Um, in a homestead, non-homestead, it would provide immediate relief. And then we could look at some reform things like you know, increasing the homestead and adjusting that since it's 20 years old, um, capping increases, especially in non-homesteaded property, which has uh, no cap right now. So there's a lot of things that we can do, but what they're doing right now is irresponsible.